everyone, so as you can see, I'm seated on the floor, which means a new setup. I've been trying to find places in my house where I can film, but unfortunately it's been pretty unsuccessful. So finally the year has come to basically a close. It's the 26th of December today. There's just a few days until the year of 2012. So to welcome the new year, I thought it'd be cool to give you basically a summary of products of my favorite products of 2011. And I can't believe the year has like, you know, closed. I mean, you know, I've done so much in the blogging arena and also the YouTube arena. It's been a fantastic journey and I'm nearing 10,000 subscribers. I have about like 60 subscribers to go to 10,000. And of course, you know that there's a big giveaway at 10,000 subscribers. So let me know in the comment section below what you'd like to have as a giveaway. I was thinking of some Lush goodies because I'm a, like a me mega fan of Lush. And I thought because Lush Singapore just came to Singapore, I thought it'd be a good thing to just um, do a Lush giveaway. So just let me know in the comment section below of what you think of a good giveaway sort of prize would be and thank you so much for your support thus far it really does mean a lot to me I have my products right here that I'd like to show you I don't know why I have my SD card here so the first thing I wanted to start with is eyes so I've been really into I guess 2011 I've been into that smoky sort of neutral eye look and this one is a really really good one this is the Almay intense eye color and it came with like a little you know like a little brush it's really dirty but I've been using this I when I was at uni in Australia I was using it for like you know every single day and basically I would just put this Rubenesque looking shade all over the lid then I would put this in my outer corner using a pencil brush and then I would highlight you know the areas where I wanted to highlight and it would just look amazing with false lashes so if you have false lashes on these are amazing they just really enhance your eyes but still make it look sort of semi-natural which is really really welcome sort of look in 2011 the wet n wild comfort zone palette and Basically, it comes with stick shades. Unfortunately, someone in my you know family dropped it and wouldn't tell me, but they dropped it and my eyeshadows cracked. So unfortunately, as you can see, they are cracked and it makes me really sad because this is actually one of my favorite palettes ever. But it basically comes with a really nice neutral brown look, brown range, and it comes with a green range. And these are basically the softest and most pigmented eyeshadows I have ever swatched more than any of the drugstore because this is wet and wild, it's pretty affordable. And if you're in Australia or Singapore, you can get it on crushcosmetics.com.au, which is the place where I would get it. And this wonderful blogger, Liza, actually sent this to me in a swap. So thank you so much because this is actually one of my favorite palettes ever. It's just beautiful, soft, pigmented eyeshadows you'll never regret. The Naked 2 palette, the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. This is one of my favorite palettes. I've been using it every day, guys, here in Singapore, and I can't say enough of it. I love it. I love it more than the Naked 1 palette because the Naked 1 palette tends to have too much shimmer, too a, a little darker color range to my liking. This one has a lighter color range and less sort of intense shimmer shades, which makes it more wearable throughout the day. So I really like it. I use sort of the matte shades in to my crease and I'll let you in on what I do every single day in my next video, which is my everyday eye makeup tutorial that I usually do, which I have on today. The Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is my favorite primer potion and I use the Face of Australia one. And I haven't tried the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, but I should try that out. But I love this, this is great. This is the actually the extra large professional size that I got recently because I thought, you know, I'd, I'd run out really quickly. And they changed the packaging of the Urban Decay Prime Potion, you guys didn't know. It's not that tube thing anymore. It's sort of like a squeezy tube, which is tons more convenient, but just give it a shake before you use it because the sort of ingredients tend to separate in the tube. So make sure you sort of shake it a bit and then you kind of use it. I have been using every day the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Eye Pen. So this is what it looks like and I like the preciseness of liquid eyeliners. I just love it because you know you can make a sharp line, you can make any line basically, but I don't like somehow when you sort of open the tube of the liquid eyeliner, sort of the liquid eyeliner sort of drips a little bit. So with the pen it's just tons more easier because you don't have that dripping or anything like that. You kind of just draw the line onto your eye but have that preciseness as well. So the Revlon Color Stay does a great job of it. I'll do a swatch right here. So it's quite pigmented a line and it just does a great job on my eyes. And also with the CoverGirl Liquid Line Blast. This is was introduced to one of my best friends, Danielle, and she told me that she loved this eyeliner, she uses it every single time, and it stays. And I have to say, I have to agree, because I haven't really found an eyeliner besides the Airbnb K 24-7 liners that really stays on my eyes, and with this, this really works. This, this stays on my waterline and that doesn't drip or anything like that, and I just really love this. So, 
Definitely thumbs up for the CoverGirl Liquid Lime Blast and the Revlon Colorstay. The Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation. When I used the 24 hour foundation, I loved it. So I had to try out the 25 hour foundation and I am so surprised because it really does stay on the face really, really well. It sticks there and it lasts throughout the day and it wears really nicely. So if you want a long wearing foundation with really good coverage, the Rimmel 25 hour foundation will do that for you. And then I have been using this every single day. This is the Dream Smooth Mousse foundation and I initially thought that I was a matte person. I thought I didn't like glowy foundations. I didn't I didn't like any of that. With this, this is amazing. This is like a hydrating foundation. So you have to like the glow, but in humid weather like Singapore, I just came from back from Bangkok yesterday, and in humid weather you kind of want foundation that gives you a little glow because you're going to be glowing anyway because it's very hot, it's sweaty, it's humid, so you kind of want to go with the weather. And this is amazing. This stays. I'm in the office. I'm currently working now from Monday to Friday, so I have a full-time job now, and I find that when I'm in the office, my foundation tends to cake up. I don't know, maybe it's the air conditioning or something like that, but my foundation really tends to cake up, which I hate. So I've been using the Dream Smooth Mousse and I have been sort of leaning on to sort of glowy things. It cakes less and I just really love this. I'll give you a full review of this some other time, but this is a Dream Smooth Mousse. It gives you a really nice glow, doesn't cake up, and you know, just looks like skin, which is awesome. I have to say my favorite brushes of 2011 was the pencil eye brush from Sigma. This is the E30 and this was actually from the Make Me Blush set and this is very very soft. It's very good pencil brush. Of course these brushes I used, I just used them today so I'm so sorry if you're like ew those brushes are gross but anyway the pencil brush is like this and it's very very soft. I can use it for sort of my crease work as well as my outer corner work which I just love doing and then the MAC 217 is my favorite MAC brush of 2011. I just love this. I just don't, wouldn't know where I would be without it. It packs on color, it blends into the crease really well, and just one of my favorite brushes. And then also the Sigma F80. So also the other Sigma synthetic brushes are great. This is a flat top one. It blends foundation in flawlessly and gives you like the perfect amount of coverage. I love the Chanel Rouge Allure and Darling. I probably have put this in a favorites video somewhere. I just love it. I just love the formula of this. It's just such a pretty color. I don't know if Darling is available anymore because it was sort of a limited edition color, but the Rouge Allure lipsticks from Chanel are amazing. They're light, they're smooth, and they last long, and they're pigmented as well. So if you have ever have a chance to get a chance on Chanel Rouge Allure, get them cheaper on the net or get them duty free or something like that, definitely something to try is the Rouge Allure lipsticks. For blush, I have hit pan on this, as you can see, and it is the Revlon Beyond Natural Blush and Bronzer love this so much because it's so convenient it's sort of a duo the blush is right here the bronzer is right here the bronzer is absolutely amazing it's very natural on my nc30 skin one of my favorite bronzers and then obviously because i hit pan and then also the blush is quite good as well so if you want sort of a duo blush and bronzer duo this is great my favorite perfume probably of now is the angel du monde le secret from Givenchy. I don't know if I pronounced it that right because I'm not French, obviously. This smells really good. It's a very light fragrance, citrusy a little bit, but sweet at the same time, but not overpowering, which some fragrances tend to... I have like a curl of hair anyway. Some t fragrances tend to be like, but this one's really, really nice. Lush Cynthia Sylvia Stout. I have been sort of asking for samples for this from Lush for a really long time, but now I just have to, I bought the full size version finally. And this is basically beer shampoo. So if I read it to you, Stout Lemons Cognac Oil made this a supreme conditioning shampoo, gives weight and shine to fluffy hair. And I have to say that this is a great shampoo because it's beer. It's like weird because it's like a weird combination. But if you like wash your hair with the beer, it actually makes it more fluffy and smooth. I have my Fresh Con Color Fusion lenses. I've been using a lot of, obviously a lot of color lenses in my tutorials if you haven't noticed. So I've been using the Fresh Con Color Fusion ones. So this is in Perky Brown. This was in Sparkling Shimmery Gray. I use these. You can use these for a month if you store them well. And then also my favorite lashes ever is the Fashion Lashes in natural from Ardell. You have to get the blue one because that means the line is invisible and they just basically go on a lot better. So these are my favorite ones. They're in 110 I think. So yeah. So I hope you like my favorites of 2011. I just wish 
you all the greatest happy new year and look forward to more videos and thank you so much for your support tell me in the comment section below what a good giveaway price would be because i'm nearing 10,000 subscribers which is awesome so i'll see you guys later and i hope you have an awesome day bye for more, check out my blog at www.rosantangaris.com or my Facebook page at facebook.com slash